looping through two dimensional lists. So here we have, we've got a list of a uh, two dimensional list and it's a list of people with a name and an age, name, age, name, age, name, age, name, age. And let's say we want to print out uh, the name and the age of each of those people. There's two ways you can do this. Uh, version one is it's using uh, the indexes. This is quite common, which is why I'm going to show you this. Uh, and you can do for, let's have a look, for person, but let's just do it now. So for P in people, there we go. So that's a for loop, and it's going to loop through each of these items in that list. And you could do print, let's have a look, and you can do P brackets, the square brackets, and you could do the index of that sublist in there. You could do the index, so P naught will get the first item in whatever P is, which would be Homer. There we go, the first time round. Now the for loop is going to go through each one of these items, and then each time round, P is going to represent that particular list. So first time P will be that one, then P will be that one, then that one, then that one, that one. And you can use the indexes there, and you can print per comma is comma, and then you can get the second item p1 comma is old. There we go. So that will now loop through the list, and as you can see here with my printout, there we go. It will print out each of the people and it will go through the entire list one by one by one by one which is brilliant and that's one way of doing it which is fine that's version one the other way version two and this isn't quite as common but uh, you'll see this I think this is a little bit more readable what you could do is you could do for name comma age in people There you go, version two, multiple temporary variables. So what we do this time is multiple, oh, I spelled right, good. So what we do, there we go, for each one here is we do two variable names, two temporary variable names, standing for each, uh, representing each part. So name, age, name, age, name, age, name, age. And this similar technique is above, so we'll cut and paste. But this time, instead of putting P1 and P2, we can use the actual temporary variable names. If you're clever with your variable names, then that it makes it a little bit more readable as well. So let's just hash out that one so we don't see it and there you go you can see it achieved exactly the same result uh, both work perfectly well but the difference is maybe this one is a little bit more readable this one a little bit less readable but very very common and it also teaches you about how to do indexing so that's how you loop through a two-dimensional list